Headliner Nation, we've got a breaking news story out of Texas this evening. The Rasheed Rice situation now has another layer added to it. This evening, an arrest warrant was issued for Rasheed Rice in connection to his involvement in a multi-vehicle crash in Dallas last month. If you remember correctly, two vehicles were racing. They crashed, caused a six-car accident. And because of that, Rasheed Rice is now wanted on a warrant for eight charges, six counts of collision involving bodily injury, one count of collision involving serious bodily injury, and one count of aggravated assault. Now, since the accident has happened, we found out two things. Number one, Rasheed Rice, after the accident, left the scene of the crime and went missing for a couple of days. And number two, Rasheed Rice was driving one of the vehicles. One of them is currently being leased by him. The other one was being rented in his name. Now, there's still a lot that needs to be played out with this situation, and we'll let the law handle that and he is innocent until proven guilty but there is going to potentially be some consequences not just from the law but from the league and what does that mean not only for Rasheed Rice but the Kansas City Chiefs. First and foremost, we have to assume at this point that Rasheed Rice is going to face some type of a suspension. Now, if he isn't proven guilty for anything, or if he doesn't end up doing any jail time, maybe it's a pretty quick suspension, like three or four games. Four games seems to be the common denominator among people who do something stupid in the NFL and get into some sort of legal trouble, but don't necessarily end up doing any time or are arrested for it. But that could end up being the bare minimum because if he is found guilty of anything or if he does end up needing to do any jail time, even if it's a very short stint, the Kansas City Chiefs star could end up being suspended for up to, or who knows, maybe even more than a year. This is starting to become a huge problem for the NFL because we have seen an increase in these type of issues over the last few years. Henry Ruggs is doing jail time right now for killing somebody after racing his vehicle. We've seen Jalen Carter have to answer a lot of questions after being suspected of crashing his vehicle while racing. And now we've got Rasheed Rice as well. And I may or may not be missing some others. So I think we need to ask ourselves, is Rasheed Rice going to be made an example of? Now for Henry Ruggs, he was taken to jail. He did jail time. He killed somebody. So the league didn't need to step in and do anything at that point. But with Rasheed Rice, it hasn't been nearly as terrible with this accident, even though there were people injured. Does the NFL step in and say, hey, Rasheed Rice, you're done for an extended period because we need to get the attention of all of these players who think it's okay to drive like this. And if that happens, this Kansas City Chiefs offense is going to be missing one of their better players, a younger guy on a team full of veterans. Now, if we're looking at this from a fantasy standpoint, if you're in a dynasty league, you can't do anything with Rasheed Rice. Even if you do end up trading him, you're not going to be getting very much in return anyway. You might as well just keep him on your team, stick it out, and see what happens over the coming months with this situation. If you're looking to trade for him, I would highly encourage you not to do that either. Now, in Dynasty Leagues, Marquise Brown, his value is up. But keep in mind, he's on a one-year deal. So if you currently have him on your roster, this is probably the best time for you to trade him. Because, yeah, he could end up having a really good year with Kansas City, but what if Kansas Kansas City doesn't bring him back. In a dynasty league, we need to look ahead, right? And his value throughout the year may never be higher than right now with people anticipating a loss of Rasheed Rice for an extended period of time. Now, obviously, Travis Kelsey does what Travis Kelsey does, and he's still going to be good, but I don't love this offense losing another weapon. One of the reasons why we've seen it take a little bit of a downward trend the last couple of years is because of no Tyreek Hill. No one to stretch the field, no one to pull defenders the length of the field, and be able to to let Travis Kelsey operate over the middle of the field. Now, they do have Marquise Brown to help with that, but if you had Rasheed Rice on the other side, Travis Kelsey is going to see a lot of one on one coverage that he's going to beat a majority of the time. And for Patrick Mahomes, I don't love it either. I already had him right around three or four in my rankings, and I probably keep him right there, but losing Rasheed Rice for an extended period is not going to be great. But here's something that could tell us a lot about what the Kansas City Chiefs are thinking at this point. In just a couple of weeks with the NFL draft here, there is an opportunity for the Chiefs to go ahead and draft another younger wide receiver. And while that could end up giving them several good guys and someone to replace Marquise Brown next year, if they end up taking one extremely early, like in the first round, it could lead 
leading people to believe that Rasheed Rice may end up missing time and the Kansas City Chiefs know that. And once again, like I mentioned, due process. He's going to have his day in court. We're going to find out if he's guilty or not guilty and what the punishment actually ends up being. At this point, when I recorded this, the warrant had just been issued. It sounded like he had 24 hours to turn himself in, and my hope is that he does end up doing that, because if he doesn't, obviously things are going to get way more complicated. But I would expect at this point that Rasheed Rice is going to see a suspension. Is it four games? Is it 17 games? Is it longer than that? That is going to be the question mark. But whatever the length ends up being, it's going to have an impact on 2024 and potentially beyond for the Kansas City Chiefs plans. Make sure you have those bell notifications on so anytime there's breaking news at the NFL level, you'll know when we post about it. Hopefully you all appreciated me trying to help you figure out a little bit more about this situation. If you have Rasheed Rice on one of your fantasy rosters, what should you end up doing? And now things might be, for the time being, a little bit more clear about how you handle your fantasy team. But hopefully this video gave you a little bit more information so you now can make the best decision possible for your fantasy rosters. And if you're just a Kansas City Chiefs fan or NFL fan, you have a little bit more information about what could possibly come from this. But make sure you stay tuned into the fantasy headliners all offseason long, and I'll see you all in the next one. Analytics, all the chain, all the challenge, not the same. Jake and Kyle, you know the name. Headline Nation, we run it again.